I mean, don't people have any smarts out there? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I look at the YouTube comments, and I've gotten countless emails about it. What are you doing having Obama saying the New World Order is bad? He's not saying the New World Order is bad. He's saying the essence of the New World Order. That's what it is. And they openly announce at the G20 that they want global tax standardization set by the private banks. Much of the taxes paid directly to the private banks. So I'm going to break this down when we get back. Volcker. Carbon tax VAT should be on the table. That's out of the Wall Street Journal. We've got a key article up on Infowars.com by Kurt Nemo that everyone needs to read so they get the full picture. Former Fed mob boss calls for VAT and carbon taxes. It's all coming up. Stay with us. They railed against the crown. Another ragtag band. Another ragtag band declaring, declaring independence. They laid their bodies down, laid their bodies down in a bloody war, on a bloody war for liberty, and liberty for their descendants. Their descendants. Thanks to the renegades, to the renegades. we're free today. We're free today. We're free today. Thank God for the renegades. And the lives they lead. The lives they lead. Far ahead of their time. If it wasn't for the renegades. Without the renegades. Lord knows where we'd be. When it comes to heroes, renegades are mine. So the choice is now yours. It's clear on the table. There's no more room for denial or procrastination. A scientific, corporate-run, global dictatorship has now been established, openly announced, and they are foisting massive taxes globally. Now, Europe has chosen, according to the OECD, the Organization of Economic and Cooperative Development, the private corporate reorganization arm under the Marshall Plan that set up the IMF and World Bank, that France is the model, as well as Finland. In Finland, all of your money is digital. The government listens to all your phone calls publicly. It tracks everything you do. CPS visits you monthly. Everything is controlled. And they have upwards of an 85% tax rate when you add them all together. Same thing in France. Some people pay over 90% in France. That is the model. And the 10% of the money you get to keep, they decide what you can spend it on. The problem is everyone then fled France and Finland to England with their only 55 to 60 percent tax rate total. And they openly have stated, Gordon Brown and others, we must raise taxes to match Europe, and the U.S. must raise their taxes to match us. And they're already in Europe calling for more taxes. And the EU members, the bureaucrats, are exempt. That's mainstream news. They are exempt from their own taxes. They pay 17%. Just like uh, the leadership of the House and Senate and the executive are all exempt from Obamacare. That's Associated Press. Another key indicator of absolute tyranny, absolute corruption, is when the elites, the alpha maggots, the ruling class, are exempt from the systems they foist on the chattel serfs. So you have Warren Buffett and all these big insurance company owners lobbying, pushing, throwing everything they could in to take control of one-seventh of the U.S. economy. They've seized the factories under the greenhouse taxes. They've seized the car companies. They're seizing the cities that they've bankrupted by design, the law enforcement they quietly federalized. A total takeover is now happening. And the worse the economy gets, the more taxes they'll raise. The more people will go on the government payroll. The more people will go on welfare. The higher the debts will go. The more they'll squeeze the middle class. Always squeezing. Always pressing. Always domesticating. And this is a fearful master, a wicked master. Government. Dangerous. Like fire. A dangerous servant, a fearful master, George Washington. Government is force. It is not reason. 
It is special interest coming in with the power of the gun and robbing you, running your life, deciding if you can have a business, selectively enforcing. And so now here we are after more than 15 years of constant brainwashing as if it was a sacrament, as if it was Passover, as if it was uh, the breaking of bread and communion, that we will have a sales tax, we will have a value-added tax, we must have it, we must get rid of the income tax. And then now they shift gears suddenly in the last year and say, we've got to pay off this debt. We've got to have all these new value-added taxes. Sarah Palin says global warming's real. They cheer her. So does John McCain. In fact, let's go ahead and play that Glenn Beck clip on O'Reilly where they're jousting with each other over what type of new national tax we need and telling everyone how fair it is and how conservative it is right on time for Obama to begin pushing it. Because this is what the elite wants. This is what the banks want. They want another tax. Not just their carbon taxes, not just their health care tax, not just their other tax increases and unfunded mandates expanding against the states, already more than 10 states bankrupt or going bankrupt, driving everyone into submission with a tell of the hun economic warfare. Here it is. Serious question. Yes. Last night, I know you watched Factor every night. Yes. So you can steal material. Oh, my gosh. Um, and I said that economically, we can bring the country back, but yeah. you have to do some discipline. You have to freeze spending. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have to uh, have a national sales tax, 2%. Yep. What did you think about that? Um, I actually, I made some notes. Excellent. I actually agree with you, except I believe it should be a VAT tax. 2% VAT. Value added no tax. More, no more than 2%. What's the difference uh, what, between a sales tax and a value sales added tax? tax? A value added tax goes through, or value added tax goes through absolutely everything. So it hits 2% on every piece. You make a car, somebody's making the radio, 2%. Somebody's making the. So it, it hits. So it, corporations it, pay it too. All the way along the line. But you remember that it's corporations. It's an extraordinary amount of money. We'll always pass it on to the folks, which is oh, why yeah. I like the sales tax better. Well, hang on just a second. But if you have a 2% VAT, um, you can um, pay things down awfully darn quickly. That's what right. I want is That's a, right. what I want is, this is the part of the notes, I want a 2% uh, VAT. It goes directly to the uh, deficit, no more, no, than, no more than 10 years, constitutional amendment, and it must be um, with a balanced budget amendment, also must say that the books are combined, no longer okay. emergency accounting. No so... They'll push it through. None of that will be done. And you notice it says it all goes to the deficit, all goes to the bank. A constitutional amendment that 100% of your taxes go to the bankers. Oh, isn't that great? Which is shock therapy under the IMF World Bank documents that were released in 2002. You know, people like to make fun of the third world and talk about how pathetic and lazy they are and why can't they get it together. They were all colonial colonies. They never got to have a free market. They never got to have private property. All they got was a few kingpins that were put in power by the Western powers in the last 400 years, whether it's Africa, Asia, or Latin America. North America was different. It wasn't perfect, but we had basic property rights and low taxes, and so 4% of the world population had 51% of the world's wealth until about 1985. Now we've gone from the wealthiest country in the world to the most in debt, and in 2007, January 1st, we passed the line to being in more debt and having a bigger debt versus savings ratio than in 1933 in the depths of the Depression. We're now dependent. We're now bankrupt. More people are on government payroll or getting government subsidies than even pay taxes. They've now got a giant army of people that are happy to get $600 a month. They think this is freedom to be a slave and give them their little bag of beans and rice each week. And so they're now the weapon. And then others in this government class can be cops or bureaucrats, and as long as they push for more government, and as long as they are servile and owe all their allegiance to whatever the corporate rulers say that control the government, they will move up the chain and maybe get three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 a year as a superintendent of schools or as a police chief or as a... Uh, private orphanage or as a drug company uh, salesman 
Because the banks have unlimited money they create out of nothing. They loan it to our governments, they loan it to the public, they buy off all of our people. And so now here we are in 2010, Bush tripled the size of government, Clinton doubled the size of government, Bush Sr. increased government by about 30%, Reagan increased government, and Obama spent in a year, and he's now a year and a half in, in a year, more money than all presidents before him combined, from George W. to George Washington. Think about that. Let that sink in. And it's only expanding. They're not cutting anything but your benefits. They're not cutting anything but your Social Security, your Medicare, your Medicaid, which, yes, people paid into, and they're going through, through the inflation of the dollar.